Hello, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and today I'm going to be reviewing Crimson Deck by Laura London. Before I do that, lock it in your mind to have a look at cardmagiccourse.com after this. Uh, cardmagiccourse.com is, as you'll know if you've watched any of my reviews, my online card magic course from beginner to professional and more. Uh, there's a how to practice course on there. I help people if you've got any problems, you email me and I create videos on the back of that. So it's kind of tailored to your needs. So cardmagiccourse.com, have a look at that and like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. Thanks, that'd be great. Right. Have you ever seen people steal watches and do pick oh, and yeah. stuff and not yeah. feeling it? So weird. you're like telling me to look over there. Yeah, yeah that sort of thing. Well, I'll try and misdirect you, but you've got to look for it, okay? okay. So uh, just say stop. Stop. Okay, there's the, the thing. Uh, there's your card. I'll look at it. Oh, actually, you just put it face, face up. It doesn't matter if I see oh. it. Oh. Yeah. Um, and we'll put four cards there. And I'm going to take four cards here, okay? Yep. One, two, three, four. And put them under your hand. So the first part is the magic bit. It's not misdirection, this, because I can't get you to look away. So you've got to add a bit of magic, because... So if we put your chosen card within those yeah. four cards that I've got out, you can see that we've... It's completely... vanished. <laughs> but I said I was going to misdirect you, and when you were looking at there, did you feel anything? No. No, no, no. Am okay. I meant to feel anything? Okay, put your hand up. Because I showed you four cards here, right? Yeah. But now there's one, two... Three, four, five, and the one in the middle. I mean, where did it? With your card. <laughs> does not understand. Yeah, it's my head. Don't but my hand were there. So Crimson Deck from Laura London and uh, Abstract Effect from the other brothers, Daryl and Daryl, who've put this together very beautifully again, which I really like. Uh, it's always nice when you spend a bit of money to get it all nicely packaged, isn't it? And this is, a, well, I'll tell you what the trick does if you haven't seen the, the trailers. It's a, someone chooses a card. They uh, put it back in the deck themselves. They can cut the deck. They can, to lose the card, they can put it in their pocket, take it out, and then you spread the cards. The card has vanished and then can appear anywhere you want. So Laura does a routine, quite a nice routine, with a folded card, which is really nice because a folded card is actually in the box that they've just put the card box back into. Uh, which is a really nice thing. The important thing here is that they, the cards can be spread and the card is vanish. I think that's the thing that that makes it feel different from a lot of other things. Because you could argue that you can do a similar thing with a Svengali deck, right? You can you can cut the cards, they can do the force it, but what they can't do is then look at the cards really. I mean, you can do a thing that makes it look like the normal cards, but they, you know, it's very open and it's very hands-off. And that's the real sell of this, really. The I... When I first got this and saw the first bit and played with it, I was not... I thought, yeah, it was quite nice. That was that was my response. And and I had an actually moment. And I like an actually moment. An actually moment is where you go, that's all right. And then you play with it a bit. And then you watch a bit more of the tutorial. And then you go, oh, actually, that's the actually moment. And I got that with this, which I really wanted to get. So there's probably a bit of confirmation bias there. But I kind of felt there was something in it that I wasn't seeing. Well, first of all, I'll tell you the other two effects that, that I've been really enjoying. There's two more effects on on this that are demonstrated. Uh, one of them is a kind of traveling card effect. So I really like this plot. You, The card is taken, put in one small deck. There's three piles, they can choose the pile. And actually, I'm not gonna explain it because I'll just put the, put the video on it. You'll see the trick. It goes from one pile to the other, ends up in a box. Lovely. That's, now I'm starting to see a journey. I, li I like, there's more of a journey there. There's more of a kind of different thing happening that has mom numerous moments of surprise and then a really, really nice finish and they can look in the box. So I really like that. And then there's this other thing that had a feel of um, sort of strange travellers to it, you know, but just a five card one. Uh, for that, you're going to need a bit more. You're going to need an Elmsley count. And, uh, and that's pre pretty much about it to show. So again, very, very easy, which, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but I like that because four cards clearly go into the hands of someone and then there's five cards there and the cards clearly are very very clean and uh and well, well i was just about to say we'll go into the good stuff the the good thing about this is that it's easy so you're doing a powerful trick which is powerful you know it made me feel a little bit like the mind power deck not that you can spread the cards and just look at it but th this lovely moment of the card vanishing i think people respond to that they like it especially if there's very few cards there it's genuinely gone i mean it, 
can see that you're not doing any weird sleight of hand. Um, so it's an easy way, I think it's, a, it's an easy way to do an effect that can be achieved through sleight of hand. You know, if you do a lot of palming and you, you can get a deck out of a deck of cards really quickly and all that stuff, but some people don't want to do that. And I'm not sniffy about that. Yes, for someone, I'm happy to spend hours and hours with cards, but there are certain things in Magic I'm not happy to spend hours and hours at, and I'd rather do something that was a bit easier so I can concentrate on my card stuff. And I think that's okay if you're a mentalist, but you want you need a card trick that has almost like a mentalism feel to it, if you can create that from this, which you can, there's a versatility to this. Um then do something that isn't going to, you know, if you want an effect that you would only usually get with a colour and a palm and all this other stuff, you know, do it with that because it's really strong. There's also, like I said, a versatility to it. There, And this is what's the actually moment. It's going, oh, right, because, yes, there's that routine. And that's the simple routine. But then you start adding on to it and you go, well, it could do this because it takes two quite well-known concepts and melds them together so you can then play with it. And And with that, you've got this really easy reset. You know, there's not loads to play around with. There's not a big stack or anything like that. So it's an easy reset. It's an easy trick. It's a powerful trick. It does a few things. It's well made. You know, the cards feel really nice. You know, I got them out and farrowed them a lot. You don't have to do that, by the way, just to sort of test them out. Um, well presented, etc. So it's. I think it's a really nice trick. On the bad side, I think the only thing is that it's not a selling card. Now... With scripting and performance, it doesn't matter. I don't think every card has to be signed, but you have to be able to block off those ways of explaining a thing. So, for example, if they didn't see that deck spread, they might think of something like a Sven deck, which a lot of people know about these days, but you're, so you're cancelling off that. And because you're cancelling, you're using two methods, you, they kind of cancel each other out. So nobody's going to guess the, the method of this, really. They might, if they know this stuff, they might have an idea, but they won't, they won't guess it. Um, but you, 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 so you have to sell that. You have to really remind people what you've done, and that's really important in routines like this, you know, because they'll forget that they were the ones that cut the card, that they put the card. So you've, if you do this, sell that. You know, remember, right? You did this, you did this, and what you're doing is cancelling out everything that they might then think about. You know, but because people come up with anything, don't they? They think it's his sleeve when it's something never to do with sleeve. So, so make sure you do that with this. But I think it's nice. Um, there you go, crimson deck. Oh, really, really nice. Nothing wrong with that at all, and you'll well, the links and everything will be below. Uh, please do check out cardmagiccourse.com. Do like, subscribe, share, and uh, hopefully, I'll see you at Blackpool very soon. Take care, bye bye.